Hi, my name is Rochelle Diver. I'm a member of Fond du Lac Band of Lake Superior Chippewa in northern Minnesota. We are Anishinaabe people. Um, we are here a part of the International Indigenous Caucus, the Global Indigenous Peoples Caucus. Um, we are here to ensure that our rights are being realized and recognized and that we're included in this treaty as we are disproportionately impact as indigenous peoples, as traditional lifestyle livers, as sustenance livers. Um, we're being cut out of these negotiations. Uh, we do not have a seat at the table. We do not have a voice here. Uh, we are having to stand on the sidelines um, and grab people and try to speak about our rights to them um, when we have absolutely no leg to stand on, no vote in this process. Uh, we're disproportionately impacted. We come from tribal nations where we live off the land, where our waters are being contaminated with toxics and sulfates and mercury. Our fish are filled with mercury. We're finding our women giving birth to babies that have high levels of mercury in their blood and their brains are pre-polluted with pesticides and persistent organic pollutants. Uh, we're here to defend the rights of all indigenous peoples around the world. We've come together with a global collective voice to make sure that, that we're heard and that we're honored as we should be, honor our ancestors, and most importantly, honor our next seven generations to come. We're always looking ahead. Uh, we're here to protect Mother Earth and we're here to stand loud and proud. Our most difficult fight so far has been to get ourselves realized in the text of this treaty. Uh, we want to be in Operative Paragraph 2.2 specifically. We do want to be realized in other articles, but this one is the most important as it recognizes the rights of indigenous peoples. At this point, they have us included as uh, realization and promotion of human rights for all, including indigenous peoples. We understand that we are human as well. What we want are our rights realized. Unfortunately, we're being moved to the preamble. Um, in the preamble, we also are in brackets. We're in danger of losing that language altogether. So if we get pushed to the preamble and the preamble gets cut, there will be no place for us in this treaty. And that means our voices and our rights will not be recognized or protected. Um, so we're here to ensure that that doesn't happen. And that's what you can do on the ground at home to support us. Call your tribal leaders if you come from a nation. Call your legislators. Have somebody contact your government representatives. You are voters, you have a voice. You are able to influence this. So call whoever you can to tell them that we are watching and we are supporting the people there on the ground and that we will accept nothing else but a legally binding treaty that will be full and effective. One more thing that we wanna say, and that's the fact that right now, here at COP21, we have nation states globally that are in there discussing whether or not the rights of indigenous peoples is important enough to be involved in this treaty. And the simple matter of the fact is, is that indigenous peoples are the first ones to experience the causes and effects of climate change. We are the most vulnerable people that are at the helm of the effects of climate change. And the mere fact that we are not in there, but yet nation states are discussing the rights of indigenous peoples and discussing whether or not our, our right to clean air and clean water, our right as land-based peoples, the very essence of who we are is the land. And the fact that they are in there discussing that, the fact that they are in there discussing the future of our children is problematic.